Thank you, Dennis. Um, I'm really proud and honored to be able to uh, help induct Tom here. Can you hear me out there? Just up a little higher there. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, I'll allude to the uh, the long relationship we've had here in a second. But before that, uh, Kevin and Doug, and of course the other honorees that are no longer with us. Uh, again, uh, just great that you guys are uh, involved in this. And you certainly deserve these kind of things. So Kevin and Doug for a long time as well. Um, one thing uh, that I've known Tom Ketman since he was in elementary school back wasn't too far didn't look too far from us and uh, he didn't have an easy upbringing lost his mother at a quite a young age um, was also an innocent victim in a car accident that uh, uh, would have kept most ordinary people down but not Tom and uh, so he's had to overcome some adversity and that is exactly who Tom Kevin is and the three words that come to my mind when I think about Tom and as I said we've had a long relationship and has came back as an assistant after uh, competing at Loris College and uh, spent 19 years and went on to be the head coach and did extremely tremendous job but those three things that I think about when I think about Tom Kevin is determination, dedication, and commitment. You know, not only to wrestlers, but to people, family, and friends that have known and still know Tom. I think everybody can understand what I'm talking about. So he's put a lot of time and effort into uh, the program uh, at Don Bosco, from being a wrestler to being a, an assistant and certainly the, the 11 years he spent as a, as a head coach uh, are without equal. Uh, 12 state championships, five individuals, and seven dual me. So uh, he's, he's trying to come after uh, Darrell Weber, but <laughs> another one of our guys that Kevin uh, has helped out there in Virginia. Um, the thing about that, Tom's always very serious. You guys know that. He laughs every once in a while, but he is all business most of the time. You know, and that's, that's he, he really is a tremendous role model for the young men that, uh, that we coach together, and now he's coached with uh, some of the other assistants that have done a great job with him. And uh, they, they know uh, how committed and dedicated that, that Tom was and would do anything in his power to help them. So <clears throat> just one little story, Tom probably remembers this, and I think there's a few guys out here in the audience that might remember this too. Um, we were coming back from the National Wrestling Tournament, I believe it was at Maryland or someplace in the East. <laughs> we made it back as far as some little town on the Michigan-Indiana border. So he said, boy, we're all tired. We got, we got to, you know, it, 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 the smart thing, the prudent thing to do is pull over and get a motel. I don't care how you know, cheap it was, just get a bed. So we found a little place. It wasn't the Hilton by a long shot, but it had a bed. It had a couple rooms, and so we kind of gathered in one room and we're watching television for a little while before we went to bed. And it wasn't our room, so I didn't have control of the television, but they were watching one of these stupid, stupid movies called Deadly Eyes. It was about a giant rat that was eating people. <laughs> and I watched for a while, and I said, I'm not into this. I'm tired. I'm going back to my room. It was an indoor hallway, not very well lit, as you can about imagine a cheap hotel. They don't want to waste any money on electricity light bulbs. I'm walking down here, and all of a sudden I feel something grab a hold of my leg. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. And I heard somebody, and 
This was out of character for Tom Kevin. <laughs> but I turned around, and my immediate reaction, you know, I would still be a little more competitive with those in the early days. <laughs> so my immediate reaction was to, I didn't even know what it was, chase him down. I'm sure he thought the old guy couldn't catch him. <laughs> but some of you guys, my, my memory's a little foggy. Did he make it into the bathroom, or did I go through the door after him? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he, he hasn't done that since 1987 or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as I, I said, I'm, I'm extremely proud of Tom and his accomplishments and the recognition that he's gotten from um, the group here in Cresco. And um, he's a great representative for not only Don Bosco in, in Iowa but wrestling in general. So, Tom? <laughs> no, first off, I want to thank the uh, selection committee, the nomination committee, and uh, tremendous, tremendous honor being up here with the likes of these guys. Unbelievable. I'd like to thank Dan Mashick for everything he's done for us, everything he's done for the program. Uh, anything and all. The wrestlers out there can attain to this that anything we've learned, we've learned from Dan Mashick. Uh, he set the table, he got things going at Bosco, he did everything the right way. We learned a lot of valuable lessons, not just winning and losing, but how to get better from those losses, what we could be taken from those wins. You know, a lot of these lessons I'm sure Dan probably learned from his coach in high school and college and pass them on to us and that's what we tried to do pass them on to the people the wrestlers that we got to touch that we got to be part that were part of our lives anything any achievement that i've gained uh as head coach i owe to dan mashick thanks man I also want to thank the community of Gilbertville, the town Gilbertville, the school Don Bosco for giving me this opportunity. And I want to thank everybody that is a part of Don Bosco Wrestling, that gave me the chance, the opportunity to coach. You know, when I say part of Don Bosco, I mean, I want to say the parents, because they gave me the opportunity to coach their young, young student athletes, their young wrestlers. And uh, that one thing I've learned that the kids in Gilbertville, they got a strong work ethic. And it doesn't matter if they're wrestlers, volleyball players, whatever sport, whatever band, whatever they're out, their parents are there backing them. And it uh, sure makes your job a lot easier as a coach when these kids come to school with a work ethic, second to none. Uh, it makes our job a lot easier. Uh, the support given there at Don Bosco for the wrestling pro well any program we got uh, the parents are behind it the fans the boosters student body they're behind all the sports wrestling they really uh, how you say the Don's uh, travel well travel well at every event every event they got the biggest crowd uh, they get there early they stand in line and, and not just the biggest crowd, one of the most knowledgeable wrestling crowds. And I'm sure some of the officials in the room can attest to that. <laughs> or maybe not knowledgeable, but loudest, yes. No, I want to thank them very much for letting me, giving me the opportunity to coach their sons. 
I also uh, want to thank all the uh, wrestlers that I've touched, touched their hearts, uh, coaching them. Uh, tremendous bunch, tremendous bunch of athletes. Uh, some, granted, some weren't very talented, but like I said, by the time they get in the room, spend a couple years in the room with their work ethic, and uh, we push, they get better. They get better, and uh, those are the kind of kids you need on the team. You know, by the time they're juniors and seniors, they're winning 75 percent of their matches. They're you know, they're filling that roster. They're, you know, that's what's part of the reason Don Bosco has success is we're able to uh, fill, the, fill every weight class. And the kids work hard. And uh, some of them are very, very talented coming in. And that comes, again, from the parents that spent time with them. You know, hauling them all over kids' tournaments and whatnot when they were young. But some of them just get better through hard work. And that's a, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, Dan always told me, surround yourself with good people. It makes you look good. And that's, that's kind of what I tried. Uh, I'd like to, some of the assistant coaches I had the privilege of working with. Back in the early day, there was, uh, when I first got out of college, it was uh, Gary Delagardell and myself. And uh, it was Gary, myself, and Dan in the corner. Those two got the chairs. I had to sit on the first aid kit. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, another guy named uh, Jerry Anderson, Big A. He was with us for a couple of years. Jerry was uh, wrestled with Drake. Jerry was like 6'7", six, 6'7", seven, six, seven, 370. And uh, he would be in there working out with the high school kids, and once in a while he'd grab a hold of me and swap me around like a like a big old bear wrestling a little fly. Jerry was something else. Uh, we also had a couple other guys come on staff to help out. Ray Fox and well, we'll talk about Ray a little later, but uh, Ray Fox, and Mike Schwab, Mike came on, did an excellent job. Uh, coached with Dan for seven, eight years. And then he stuck around and helped me. Mike was endless, endless, nonstop, never tired. Uh, ran with the ran with the wrestlers, you know, conditioned with the wrestlers, which is something. And he was a young body, young body, and uh, that's what you need. You need those guys. I want to say uh, hats off to some of my assistant coaches. I was fortunate enough to have uh, one of them, Brian Frost, came to us right out of. Started working with us right out of college. Brian, Brian, Brian was our lightweight coach. Uh, just, he still is. He still is. He still is. Now Brian uh, does an excellent job, and he's also our computer computer guy. Somebody's got to know how to turn it on. Uh, he does, Brian does an excellent job. Uh, coach Holden, Tom. Tom was uh, worked with Dan and I. Last couple of years of Dan, and then uh, stuck around with me for 11 years. Uh, Tom, state champ, All-American national champ at Wartburg, helped coach at Wartburg. And now Tom's the third head coach at Don Bosco High School. And he's doing an excellent job and everything. Things are going in the right direction. Things are going good. Tom's doing an excellent job. Keep it up, Tommy. Uh, another guy we had, Brian, or, uh, well, Brian Bray, Blaze was there for one year. Helped out uh, Jeff Bradley, the golden boy we like to call him. Jeff uh, did some time down in Iowa City, won a few state titles there. Uh, went to Columbus, won a few state titles. Came to Bosco, he was with us I think for five state titles. And now he's uh, helping out up at U and I, and things are going good there. Good gear, good good there. Good there. Uh, two other coaches, uh, actually I want to. Give a shout out to the uh, Mary couple Bosco girls and uh, moved into the area. Uh, Corey Christensen and Kobe Yoder. There's a couple guys might know a little bit about some, a little bit something about wrestling. And uh, they both got two boys I know. And uh, hopefully, hopefully in the future, Hogan's got to learn how to spell a couple different last names. 
lastly, there's one guy. Uh, I said I'd get to Ray Fox. I don't see Ray in the building, but so I guess it's my chance. Tell, <laughs> tell Ray Fox stories. No, I can't. Uh, it's family crowd. No, I can't tell one story about Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray and I wrestled together in high school. Uh, both went to college. I came back to Bosco right after college. Ray went to Texas for a few years, came back, and then immediately started helping out with the high school, the high school and the grade school program. And uh, now when Dan, Dan left, Ray stayed on as my assistant, and they did an excellent job helping me out. Ray would always like to get to school, get to school before, uh, before I'd get there, and he'd go down check the wrestler's mailbox in the office and get our mail and come back and uh, Ray would uh, Ray would always say yep, got the, got the roster sent in, tournament's got the information, this and that. Ray liked to do that, so I let him. Well, for the life of me, I could never figure out why nobody could ever spell my name right. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't believe the different pronunciations they had for Ketman. Uh, come to find out, Ray couldn't spell my name right either. <laughs> I think it was the same tournament one year. Uh, it might have been Bart's uh, third title, and uh, and they say presenting the award is Coach Tom Ketterman. I put the medal around Bart's neck, and he said, "Way to go, Ketterman!" <laughs> Thanks, Bart. No, uh, professionally, in, professionally in Gilbertville, I'm known as Coach Ketterman. I also want to thank a few, a few other people involved at Don Bosco Wrestling with the Kids Club, everything. It's all part of it. I mean, I talked all about all these assistant coaches and everything they do for the high school. They do the same thing for the club program, the kids program, uh, and, and they don't get paid nothing. They don't get paid nothing. They. Uh, do an excellent job volunteering their time. Uh, like I said, all the assistant coaches. Um, also, there's Joe Ryder does an excellent job with the kids. Eric Shears, Darren Helton, <coughs> Ray Fox, above and beyond, like I said. Uh, when he's high school, grade school, whatever, he, he, he puts a lot of time in. He's, he's, he's there doing it all. We also got some college kids coming back. College kids coming back now, and they work with our club program and giving back, giving back to the, the Don Bosco. Lastly, I think I just need to thank my family here. I want to thank my daughter Nicole for everything she's done through the years. She was my secretary. She was my shirt designer. She was my typist, spell check, computer person. She did a lot for me. I want to thank my son Taylor for putting up with me for all those years as a coach. Uh, no better feeling though than coaching your son to a state title. Uh, I want to thank my family that came, my brother-in-law Willie, my sister Chris, my sister-in-law Margie, daughter Kelly, my niece Kelly, my sister Mary, and from uh, Africa, my brother Rick back there and uh, a group of other Gilbertville people. I'm very, thanks for making it, guys. It's a big part, it's part of our, expand, you know, it's part of the Don Bosco family. Thank you very much. And once again, thank you for this award. I, I can't believe it. And thanks again, Dan Meshick. <laughs> and lastly, I want to thank my wife, Ann. <laughs> Thirty years, uh, she's got crunched in together at the at the tournament, sitting in the bleachers, all packed in with everybody else. Hot, getting hot, sweating, whether or standing in line, standing in line to get into a district tournament in the middle of February. Yeah, I want to thank everything she's done. She's she's uh, been unbelievable. I mean, she's she when I when I talk about Bosco family. She can whip up food for six wrestlers or ten wrestlers, depending who comes over. Thanks again, Ann.